Kote kazini. Kazi ambayo anayenzi mno kwa ni kwake sio kazi tu ila ni kipawa anachosema kajaliwa na maulana. Kipawa cha kuchora kwa kutumia rangi. Anafahamika kama Masi Obukwa. My brother used to draw a lot. Unfortunately he didn't pursue it because he was too much into the sciences, yeah. So mostly I used to draw in the house and I remember my family used to make a very big deal out of it. Anytime I draw something in the evening after supper they start you know encouraging me and telling me how good it looks. Actually iko na ka vizuri sana. So most of the time I can see my family members especially my mom, my dad and my nuclear family. They really used to encourage me a lot and it's what really pushed me to go to a school that offers art. Na kila kuchapo utampata hapa kwenye studio yake huku akichangamkia sanaa hii. Right now I specialize in painting but then I try to incorporate some element of sculpture in it as you've seen. I kind of make it 3D. I call my art art in 3D whereby I do some elements of relief sculpture that is this like this sculpture that is protruding from the surface and then I paint it. And mostly I work with the realism comp- composition and by that I mean things that you can relate to can be animals can be plants whichever so sometimes i explore abstract but i really find it easy to work with realism because that's also what the clients usually want masi anasisitiza kuwa hajajuta kamwe tangu kufanya wa muzi huu as a person that's where your passion is that's what you're dreaming that's what really in terms of my bills and in terms of my education like so far i'm actually educating myself and so on and pa- halfway of my undergraduate studies I educated myself and uh, when I was doing my Chinese language and culture I also paid for myself and that's all through art well at some point I tried employment and um, it was okay but then it it really made me pause into art production but then you realize as a person that's where your passion is that's what you're dreaming that's what has really make you rise kind of kazi yake masi huacha wengi vinyawazi huku akifurahia baada ya kazi yake kutambulika na watu tajika duniani akiwemo rais Uhuru Kenyatta na hata alikuwa rais wa Marekani Barack Obama What made me so impressed as an artist is that after one week after the painting was delivered by the US embassy I got an email to tell me that uh, the painting was in one of the wings in the in the White House and I really felt so privileged because they asked for my profile and uh, an explanation of the painting which I did up to now I saved that I saved that email and I really feel like it was really something worth of because you see at that moment I mean he was he was the power, the most powerful man on earth you know being the leader of the US uh, government so th- that's one another thing I can say is also our president uh, Mr uh, Mr Uhuru Kenyatta that was way back in uh, 20 2014 he also got a chance to get one of my paintings na nikupitia sana hii ya uchoraji ambapo Masi ameweza kutembea mataifa mengi duniani na hata kuweza kujikimu kimaisha vile vile Masi hutumia kipawa hiki chake kueneza amani peace is something very vital in our society we, we all know we need peace but then you find It may not be so easy to just start implementing. So I looked at it this way, at my small capacity as an artist, what can I do? You know it's not just about talking about peace but then you're not doing anything. Dali cha changamoto, Masi anawahimiza wote kuweza kutambua na hata kukuza vipawa vyao. Follow their passion but at, at while at it, to also work hard on it and work smart on it and uh, to try and always better themselves. Every day asking yourself, you know, am I a better person than who I was yesterday, who I was one hour ago? It may be challenging, yes. There's the element of procrastination and everything. But then uh, to always have this uh, urge and this hunger of just being a better person. That's usually my goal. Kimani Gedhuku, K24, Makala ya Ari na Ukakamavu.